I say soccer magazine. I've got uh, Oliver Keohain, the Money Boy, and me, the Money Man. Ollie, uh, we had a good week last week. We did, yeah. Seven from ten. Seven from ten. Um, I'm slowly making inroads in the competition. I think you're on 54 correct predictions. I'm on 48. The last time we checked in, I think you were 32. I was 20 or something like that. So we, yeah. we're getting there. We're yeah, getting probably, there. probably try, I'm probably letting you in because you know, for all you Gen Zs, that we give trophies out for everything. I don't. I want to participate. That's appreciate yeah, no. <laughs> we don't want to get on the wrong side of your mother. Um, yeah, a, a couple surprises last week, falling my way ha happily. I bet uh, I had um, Man United uh, and uh, no, not Man United, Liverpool and Man, and Man City, City yeah. in a double, and Liverpool go and and, uh, and and mess it up. I mean, whenever I bet against Leeds this year, that's the only time that they come right. And being a fan <laughs> since '73. That means that every weekend I'm going to bet against them now and hope that I lose my money. So I'm just sort of buying points for Leeds. Yeah, I mean, look, it works for you because you're not going to get, uh, you're going to get pretty good odds on them every weekend too, you know? Uh, yeah. Well, no, I bet against them. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I don't get good odds on betting against them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's okay. It's, um, you haven't had your full coffee yet. Um, Leeds, no, uh, what a... What a, what a you know, that's the, that's the thing they always talk about, these uncomfortable one nothing, one one games that, you know, that you, you allow a team to stay in it, and then a moment of brilliance, mm. and bang, leads, take all three points. Jesse Marsh's yeah. job probably was saved. I think that that would have been eight in a row. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you survived that. That's a big one to, um, to win, you know, you're not beating... Uh the Bournemouth of the world. And no, <laughs> and the, uh, ironically enough, you probably in the back of your mind, Leeds do face Bournemouth. Yeah. So <laughs> good week last week. Let's see if we can keep it going for uh, the two people to watch out there. <laughs> and uh, Leeds versus Bournemouth. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm going to back Leeds here on momentum and playing at home. Um, I think Bournemouth, uh, three games in a row that they've lost. Um, what is two or three? Uh, yeah, three games in a row they've lost and one draw before that. So I don't back them away against uh, Leeds that have just got a great win. Um, so I'm going to go 2-1 to Leeds. Look, it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a game that Leeds, uh, uh, Leeds should win. Mm. Um, like, you know, the, the, it's, you're going to need 30 points to survive this year, I think. You know? Yeah. And you've got Bournemouth 13. Uh, 14th and logs, 15th leads, 13 and 12 points respectively. You've got to win your home games. Yeah, you know? I really hope Leeds doesn't go down. I mean, no, I mean, it's everything it took to get back up. It's <laughs> yeah, they've got the history in that club, and uh, as you know, it was a long 17, 18 years in the in the wilderness, <laughs> uh, getting to see them in the odd FA Cup game, you know. But um, they've got good investors, um, and you know, two three games in a two three wins in a row puts you. In the top half of the table, mm -hmm. that's how close it is. I mean, when you look at, um, <coughs> when you go to ninth, there's only five points that, that separates Leicester, who are in the third final relegation spot, and and uh, and um, ninth place Liverpool. I yeah. mean, that's how close it is this year. Yeah. So the fact that we've done it makes well, it a lot more interesting. It does. It does. Not from a betting point of view, because mm. you like to see a bit of form follow through, yeah. and no one likes to see upsets every weekend. Unless you're betting on them, but uh, most most people, the the back, uh, punt, uh, the punt, lose their money because they're favorite backers all mm. the time. You know that's how that's how uh, that's how people make money because when favorites win every weekend, bookies take a beating, yeah. and when the upsets happen and, and they inevitably happen, that's why they make money. So we got what score are you predicting for? I'm Leeds doing Bournemouth? two one to Leeds. I'm gonna say two 0 for Leeds okay. this weekend. Um, fairly simple one next. <laughs> yeah. Man City are playing. Man City, Fulham. Uh, I believe Haaland will be playing. Mm. Um, look, I mean, Fulham have been... Fulham, you kind of guaranteed a goal. Uh, and it's probably going to be through Mitrovic every, uh, every match so far. He's really been cooking for them. And Fulham yeah. haven't been bad at all. Um, don't think that they're going to beat Manchester City at the Etienne. No. Uh, I do think they're going to get a goal or two, though. I'm going to go for a full... I'm going to go for... A 4-2 win to Manchester yeah, City. Yeah, Fulham had been filling the, 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 the net regularly. I mean, mm. two, three, two goals before they played Everton last weekend. Yeah. And uh, that was a surprise 
Uh, Surprise, nil, nil. Nil, nil. Mm. You know, not from an Everton point of view because they're pretty <laughs> tight at the back and. Uh, they don't really play to win. They play more not to lose. Yeah. It's just surprising when you see a team that, like, not many teams, even the top ones, have held off Fulham in terms of uh, them scoring goals. But then Everton does, you know. It's the nature yeah. of the Premier League <laughs> of all the sides. It's Look, you can't. I mean, it's, it's, I think Fulham will trouble the scoreboard. And uh, I think you're looking mm -hmm. at a 3-1, 4-1 uh, victory for Man City. Yeah. Next up is Nottingham Brentford. <laughs> Look, Nottingham Forest, outside of uh, that upset against um, Liverpool, Liverpool <laughs> you know, they went and got hammered 5-0 by Arsenal yeah. um, this past weekend. Um, however, neither, yeah, neither Forest or Brentford are particularly good travellers, you know, and like you said, you kind of, you're in that relegation zone, it's, it's the home games are the ones that you bank on, um, and I do, think, I do think Nottingham Forest will have enough to beat Brentford. I think it's going to be a 1-0 game to Nottingham Forest. Yeah, I, I, you know, kind of when you look at the when you look at the run that uh, that Brentford are on, they're better at home, obviously. Mm. Um, don't get much away from 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 the road. They are hammered four 0 by Aston Villa, five <laughs> one by Newcastle. Those sort of results, and, mm. and that's why I see that New, that, that this could is a potential three point game for uh, opportunity for for Forest. I think they they steal this one nil and uh, get the three points. Cool. Just simply based on Brentford's terrible yeah. play form. Uh, Wolves Brighton. For me, this is a game that I'm going to be looking to put some money on. Um, I think you know, two to one on Brighton. Wolves really have not been good this season, mm. and Brighton, um, despite Potter's departure, you know, continue to look decent, and they they really sort of uh, <laughs> stuck it to him last uh, this past weekend, four one I think against, against Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah. Um, you know, I think they'll be riding that high, and I, you know, I back them to get a win over Wolves by the the nature of the two squads, the quality of the two squads. Despite the fact that it's away, I think Brighton win this game two 0 Yeah, but since Potter's departure, you know, they, they have lost. They, yeah. You know, they've only won one game out of the last uh, six. Uh, so yeah, one game out of the last six. You know, they've lost. They they drew with uh, with Nottingham Forest. Um, but but you know, last mm. week's game four one. No one picked that. Yeah, three goal uh, uh, demolition of Chelsea. Is that an anomaly given the circumstance? Do well, you think, Chelsea, you, Chelsea were also undone by Leeds. Quite uh, Leeds, <coughs> I think they beat them three nil. Yeah, at the, in, in yeah. the year. So Chelsea haven't uh, haven't been playing away for, uh, well away mm. from home. And she's um, this. Is a t I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a draw in this match. I think Wolves. And Brighton draw this match. I don't think it'll be a great game. Okay. But um, that's my prediction. All right. Um, game of the weekend, Everton Leicester. Well, we both know you're being sucked. <laughs> um, for someone it is. Mm. Yeah. For yeah, someone it is, not for me. Um, for me, it's a, it's a one all here. <laughs> when in doubt. <laughs> The one in doubt go. Look, Leicester certainly didn't disgrace themselves against Man City. No, not at all. I mean, very like you know, competed strongly. Yeah. Uh, two no. And before uh, that, they'd won two. They hadn't lost in yeah. three games before that. So I still think we're going to see a bit of that form come to the to the to, to the top. And I think Leicester uh, upset Everton two one. Okay. Yeah. I'm still not so, convinced on on Everton. You know? So the actual game of the weekend, I think, mm. uh, we got. <clears throat> Chelsea Arsenal. Chelsea Arsenal. Oh, without a doubt, this is the game of the week. Yeah, and and, and, you, Spurs. and you, you can't. The bookies can't split it. Yeah, no, you pretty know? pretty evenly stacked. Um, it would be interesting to see, like you said, as Chelsea have come undone away from home against sides that you know have been able to uh, like attack. Yeah, yeah. That, that have been able to sort of like attack ferociously, and you know Arsenal's attack has been fantastic this season. Um, mm. I mean, fuck, you saw, yeah, you saw what they did to, <laughs> to Nottingham Forest last week and yeah. just what they've consistently been doing. And the week before that, they, they yeah. also, they also uh, crushed the team. Look, this, they're, they're first for a reason. Um, mm. I have to back Arsenal on this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go, yeah, my gut says Arsenal as well. Yeah. Uh, even though I think everything in this sort of match points towards, like, a, you know, a 2 all 
are one all. I think that'll yeah. be a lot of the predictions. But do you think? Do you think? <clears throat> uh, do you think Potter will be in a suit this weekend? Because he, <laughs> he was a bit dressed down again when he visited Brighton. Yeah, maybe he needs to get dressed up to get the win. I don't know. <laughs> um, Look, Arsenal have done. Have been flawless this year. They've been. They've, they've played, yeah. played Look, well. I'm still waiting for that one game where. <laughs> the city arsenal was supposed to happen and it got postponed. <laughs> I don't know if like, and I would actually love to be proved wrong um, in this case, but I don't know if Arsenal has the legs for 38 weeks. Um, we'll see. But well, what we'll see is do they have the, with a lot of teams is yeah. what legs are left after the World Cup? Yeah, of, of exactly. all the players that are playing. I mean, we'll have to get our statistician uh, to to uh, have a look at all the all the players that are playing in that tournament and yeah. how they affect each side from a numerical point of view. And, uh, and that'll be very interesting to see because there's going to lot of be, there's going to be a lot of, lot of, lot of miles to be run in that, in that, that race. Yeah. A lot of injuries to come back. And Harlem la- lays and waits. <laughs> yeah. The only two guys I know that aren't playing for sure is Salah and, and Haaland. Yeah. You know, which is, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but look, I'm going to go Arsenal. I'm going to go Arsenal 2-1. Yeah, I, I like that score. 2-1. Two, two, um, then we've got Aston Villa and Man United. Um, Aston Villa under Unai Emery now. Uh, he's now done. I don't know if you saw the, the meme, but uh, Sevilla, Villarreal, and finally Aston Villa. Mm. Um, yeah, like you said, I think when we were doing our predictions, uh, I think it was two weeks ago when Aston Villa came out and won, was it 4-1 against... Is it Brentford? That uh, after the firing of Stevie. Yeah, Hill. and you said like it's a you know it's there's always an there's, it, al- there's always an up. So it's yeah. don't know how much you take from that. Um, I always avoid those bets after someone gets fired. Yeah, you know uh, you just never know how. It, usually, teams respond well mm. to a firing. There's a, this you know I've seen it many times over the years. New a new broom sweeps clean and people are playing for positions and it just tends to elevate their performance by ten to twenty percent. Yeah. Um, but but I avoid those bets. Um, you've got Aston Villa coming, you're just getting hammered. I think, I think they, they hammered uh, Brentford four 0 yeah. and they got hammered four 0 last week <laughs> by Newcastle, who the bookies are showing no respect. Yeah. They are the Rodney Dangerfield <laughs> of the uh, the Premier League. But the, um, Look, Man United have been in great form, haven't they? Yeah. You know, what great, greatish for Man United. Look, they're really, I mean, it's, it's looking vastly different to the scenario they were in at the start of the season. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, I like United to travel and, and get a win here. I'm going to go 2 0. Yeah, me too. Um, Aston Villa, I don't know, you've got to head a week to work with them, but Man United are the form side here. And Aston Villa have been all over the place. And I don't think firing Stevie G is going to have much, much, uh, much gonna, things that are going to change there. Next, we have the Rodney Dennefield, as I said, <laughs> Newcastle traveling to the south coast to play Southampton. Yeah, you've got Southampton, who's like just shy of the sort of relegation zone, won five in their last, I mean, won one in their last five. You've got Newcastle that's won four of their last five, sitting fourth on the table and, mm. you know, drew the one other one. Um, and you've got nearly two to one on them. You've got odds of 1.90. Um, that's what I've got on Sporting Bet here. And... It's been similar every week. I mean, it was one nine zero for Newcastle against Villa. Well, if you look at Southampton, but other than the, other than the one nothing win against Bournemouth, they hadn't won in eight. Yeah. You know, so they've they you know they had a four game a, f- a four game losing streak. Uh, they've they've drawn two and won one and lost one in the last four. Uh, but Newcastle have just um, been playing for fun. You know. Yeah. You look at their thing. They, they've lost one game in the last ten. You know, they do draw a lot. You know, I think there's six wins, six draws, and and. Uh, but look for a team in the phase that they're in, and Grant suggests yes, they've had like exorbitant amounts of money pumped into them. But <laughs> that's what happens when <laughs> Daddy Warbucks buys your, your company. Yeah, but I mean, when you know, for a team that's now going to be transitioning over the next few years from like bottom dwellers to title contenders, realistically, is in this sort of season, you know, coming away with sort of like a 50% uh, or like 25% draws is not a bad trajectory at all for them, you know, if they're not losing. It's sort yeah. of the and you know what, what I like, what, 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 I, what I, where I think Newcastle is well, well positioned as well, is that the, the uh, transfer window yeah. is going to open up after the World Cup, mm. you know. And they're going to have... And they're going to see what they're going to need. I don't know how many, I haven't done the research yet to yeah. know how many players that are playing for, for Newcastle are going to the World Cup. But we'll do that. We'll do, we'll do all that work we'll this next, week. Yeah, because I mean, uh, the World Cup's starting soon. Yeah, um, but, uh, I like Newcastle. They, 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 their coach is solid. Yeah. Um, 
Look, they the they won they, without uh, the, the, a couple of stars last week yeah. as well. And 1.9 on Newcastle to beat a Southampton. That's I've got to take that bet. Yeah. yeah, no, me too. I'm definitely going to be putting some money on that. And I think if you just to go back to your transfer window story is, as any any player, even though you can see the amount of money that's been put into them, you take a bit of a gamble by coming from, say, a Liga side or a Bundesliga side um, or even a different uh, Premier League side. You take a bit of a gamble by going to Newcastle before they've actually proven anything. But their transfer situation now is that they may go in sitting fourth, fifth, sixth on the table. Mm. And, look, and, they, and players coming in from other leagues know that, like, look, next no, they're, year... No, they're, 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 they're sitting in fourth. They're sitting in no, the Champions No, no, League, I'm right? saying they're, they're sitting in fourth at the moment. Yeah. I mean, come come that time. Uh, yeah, but, but I, don't see, I don't see a lot of regression for this team, mm. you know, in terms of the people that they brought in. They brought in players later. Uh, yeah. You know, they, they didn't start the season with these players. Mm. And they've only lost one game. Yeah. You know, the, 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 I think them, Arsenal... And Man City, the only teams in the Premier League that have lost one game. Yeah. And uh, with, with, with Isaac that they signed, I see a lot of... Uh, I mean, he's a quality football player. Yeah, um, big time. And if he'd have been in the side during their, 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 run, of, their, their run of stretch, their run of games with, uh, with draws, um, they, they could be well sitting third or second. Yeah. You know, so they're not going to be an easy team to, uh, to turn over this season. Mm. And that's why I think you know the points are a premium in the in the Premier League this year for, for yeah. relegation. We're going to see some real heartbreak at the end yeah. of the year, and I don't think it's going to be necessary the names that we picked at the beginning of the season. I mean, there were some great odds on Newcastle to finish top six at the start of the season. So yeah. someone that's uh, yeah. you know had the balls to take that. Yeah, I'm sure there were some nice. Geordies with lots of balls. Yeah. <laughs> They're not. They, they are known for their for their uh, masculinity up there up north, <laughs> where the sheep are nervous. Um, West Ham versus Crystal Palace. Um, again, I think those odds look pretty good on West Ham. Mm. Uh, you know, a traveling Crystal Palace. Um, well, they don't have to travel far, do they? <laughs> it's a London derby. Um, <laughs> nonetheless. Nonetheless, yeah, I know. I know. Um, look, I'm going to take West Ham 1 0. What, what, what are the odds? 1.90 for a West Ham win. Yeah. Uh. I'll I don't win. think I'm going to be betting on that, though, because this could very much, the, not to say the obvious, but this could go one of three ways. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Crystal Palace got a win. I wouldn't be surprised if it ended in a draw. I'm well, you remember at the beginning of the year, the Crystal Palace had a very difficult schedule. Yeah. And, you know, in the last, they've only lost one of the last five games. They've, um, they're certainly not in the, out of that phase where they played uh, top six team week after week. And they're starting to accumulate points and, uh, and, and in a decent run of form. West Ham, um, equally, have not been in the worst uh, run of form. I mean, their only two losses in the last five games have been to Man United and, and Liverpool. Yeah. And uh, I think David Moyes is, 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 is galvanizing the team again. There was a lot expected after last year. Mm. And uh, I think that uh, this is going to be a very competitive game. But I do, I do give it to the home team. I'm going to give a 2-1 victory to, to West Ham. Nice. Should be an entertaining game to watch. Contender for game of the weekend with Chelsea. Uh... Tottenham, Liverpool. Well, I mean, God. If you're a Liverpool fan, you've been on just such an emotion. You know, this week, this week they go on. It makes beat, no sense. It makes absolutely Napoli, no sense. They lose to Nottingham Forest, who are last. They lose to Leeds, who are 19th. Um, and then we beat and Napoli 2-0. Then no, City been before taken, that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, look, I don't feel sorry for Liverpool fans. They contended for everything last year. Hmm. And I think that you're seeing this year... Um, the effects of that. Yeah, I mean, look, nothing. they're not investing in any sort of like muscle fiber regeneration, and these guys have been running for seven years. You know? <laughs> um, so unless they've got some, some super injection or a couple of new midfielders, yeah. this is going to happen at some stage. Um, yeah. And then the reason that the defense looks like it does is because of the midfield's lacking. The reason that you know, yeah. the attack looks like it does is because the midfield's lacking. It's because Mane is not there. Nunes was not a like for like replacement. You know, so yeah. you've got a bunch of great players in that squad, but if you look at the situation, it mm. kind of makes sense. It doesn't make sense that we lost to Nottingham Forest. But <laughs> Here's the thing I do like, Dawali. Liverpool have travelled appallingly this year. Mm. They've been an appalling away side. Um, and for that reason, I like the 3.2 on, on top. Spurs. <clears throat> I think that, that when, when you look at that, that how leaky Liverpool have been in the back mm. this year. 
I can see them going down 2-0 early and then it being a 4-2, 5-3. Well, I think, I, think in, I think it's like in 12 of our games, we've gone down... Um, gone down one nil before the for the thirteenth minute. Or something oh, you like speak that. collectively for Liverpool because you are a fan. <laughs> Look, without it, you're getting Actually three, you're getting three point two on a team that's in third place has twenty six points. Yeah. As opposed to let's take away the the, the brand equity mm. and the brand value in betting. Yeah. Um, Liverpool have had a mediocre season. They're a mediocre away side, and everybody keeps betting on this 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 revival or mm. it's going to come back to normal but this is the new normal for liverpool mm. you know and and tottenham at 3.2 you have to take that bet even if you're a liverpool supporter <laughs> you have to take that bet cuz at 3.2 it's great value well maybe i'll take a take a little page out of your book this weekend <laughs> <laughs> buy a win for your team yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah anyway i think that for me 4-2 uh, tottenham over liverpool and another, <laughs> another, uh, another uh, set of excuses as to why Liverpool uh, just don't have it. But they don't have it. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to cash in on that. It's the right bet to make. 2-1 to Spurs. Okay, cool. Well, you said you could just... What? 2-1 <laughs> to Spurs. Well, you're a smart man. So I think it's going to be a lot more goals. But, uh, yeah, cash in on that, folks. You have to take that bet. Um, and uh, let's hope that it's a good weekend of sports. Box are playing too. Do you have a box prediction? Um, <clears throat> I do indeed. What is it? <laughs> I'm going to go 28-19 to the Springboks. Yeah. We win emphatically with one of the best packs in the world. 23-20, <laughs> no, I think, to, to really? the Springboks. I think it'll be a bit tighter, but uh, can you believe that uh, the box are 7-4? What seven to four do they convert that for me? Well, I'll bet, you bet 4,000 Rand, you get 11,000 back. Whereas to bet on Ireland, you have to bet seven to win four. So Ireland are heavily favored? Heavily Bring favored. Yeah. Okay, well, then I'm definitely, yeah, I mean, I'll be betting on the spring box yeah. this it's weekend. It's got to be. Doubt. Win, lose, or draw, it's a punt, punt of the weekend yeah. for me. Yeah. Thanks, Kev. Cheers, bud. <laughs>